hello um, I was here in my kitchen just uh, checking what I have in order to share something with you guys and I found some sugar paste of different colors and I decided that I could uh, model um, something that I did a while ago for my friends uh, little girls little girls birthday it's a uh, hey hey uh, the rooster from uh, Moana uh, it's, it's really cute and it's very easy to make so uh, I'm gonna try to model this for you today uh, okay let's so see how it goes body, what I'm going to do I did I took this um, sugar paste I do not have any more modeling paste left so I use fondant actually with some CMC um, and uh, I started with a ball and now I'm starting to uh, shape it into like a teardrop shape so I'm just going to go like this but I'm not pressuring this top part because I don't want it to lose the roundness that is in here so I'm just going to go like this bringing the top down and turn it over and i think this could be a good a good start for the body however the body of the it's going to be sitting down so it's going to be very simple uh the body of the rooster is rounder and body part and he has a long neck so i'm just going to keep pushing here here okay good and I think I'm gonna cut it it looks weird now but it's gonna look good in a minute I'm gonna cut it here around here it's not gonna be too big and now I'm going to give it a very a better shape by twisting it around and this will be the beginning of the body and the dishwasher machine is on again so I'm sorry for the noise okay Good, good. So this is okay, going to so be the change the start angle here. of the camera. We will see better. Um, I cover this little, this little round uh, base with green, so you can see better the body of the rooster. So this will be the body of Hey Hey, and I'm just going to take a little toothpick. I'm going to dip it in some uh, CMC or Tylos water. And I'm gonna stick it in the middle just to give some structure to the piece to the animal okay now for the legs the legs are very simple chicken legs actually uh, the first part are going to be two uh, round you can make two balls let me just make one big ball so we have even amounts of sugar paste I'm going to make a big ball. Now I'm going to cut this ball in half. Let me just get my big cutter here. Okay, in half. And I think still be too much, but let's see. So we have an even part of each. I'm going to make another two balls. No, I think it's good. Two more balls. Okay, and now again, I'm going to push down here to make the tear drop shape. So this will be one part of my leg. This would be the top of the one. chicken legs now using this orangey jello yellow uh, colored I'm going to make the bottom of the legs by making like a little uh, a little snake shape right okay now I'm gonna cut this in half and I'm gonna use this part that is already cut just push it up 
and down here. Okay, same in the other side. This part I'm going to push it up and then down here for the heel. Very good. And now I'm going to cut three fingers because I have that chicken and fingers. Just three. Okay. I don't want them to look like this, so I'm just going to round the tips of okay, the Okay, just put fingers. the camera closer so you guys can see it. So separate them and just pinch top. one as well. And I'm just going to separate them on the base a little more. Push them up. Okay, one is done. Now the other one. Perfect. Just going to round this part a little bit more to narrow this base here on the feet. Okay. Okay, I already have one of the legs done. I'm gonna show you how it I did from here to here. So the first thing I did was using a round tool. I push here, just press this to open the space where the leg is going to rest, right? And then with the tip of my fingers, I open this a little bit more. So it would look like this, like it's inside. Okay, now this leg is too long. So I'm just gonna cut part of it narrow it a little bit and I'm going to glue this with some tileless water or CMC and bring this down so it would look like the orange part is coming from inside the blue one and now to glue it to the leg I just press with this one this round tool just to open like a space where the leg sits next to the body okay they look like chicken legs but they look like they're coming from somewhere they're not stuck in there now you just put it where you want to put them okay now i have I'll just move this here a little bit so you will see better now i have three pieces of the blue sugar paste. I'm going to do the wings and the tail. So for the wings, again, I start with a ball. Two balls more or less the same size. Perfect. Now I'm going to pull in both sides to make it look like this and now I'm going to bring this up like a smile and pinch it up here in order to create this form. It's, you see it's thick here and very thin in here and I'm just going to add some CMC here or Tylos water and bring this here. Okay. 
now using this tool I'm just going to blend this a little bit this will be covered anyway this doesn't blend as well as modeling paste but I'm gonna try anyway to blend it a little bit here with my hands good and now I'm just going to go and give it some ink swarms here okay this part will be covered so I'm not going to too much in here and I'm going to do the other side as well I'm going to do exactly the same pull on both sides pinch it on the top bring it down is going down up here okay perfect and again I'm gonna try to blend this here that is the advantage of using modeling paste instead of sugar paste with CMC but I wasn't able to find any right now in the middle of this quarantine I, I didn't have any at home so I'm not gonna go out so we'll manage with what we have right and I'm going to do the same I did on the other side just marking some of the wings here okay good I'm gonna do some little one here too okay very good we have the wings hey hey wings maybe we'll give some little texture here just to make it more fun in this case i'm bringing it down okay good perfect can you see there For the tail again I start with the ball I'm gonna pinch in one side to make it thinner okay and then I'm gonna bring it down to in this side wait let me just put it here so you can see better so I pinch it here now I'm gonna bring it down and now I'm gonna cut See that I'm doing like curves because now I'm going to bring this like this following the curve. It would actually look like the tail of a rooster. And I think I'm going to cut it here. Whoops, this will be the tail. Then I'm going to glue back here. And bring it up. I usually use whatever I have in hand, but modeling tools are way better. Perfect. Let's remove this. Okay, now I have to X. do the head, and he has like a uh, yellow feathers, feathers coming down here, this part. So I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what shape I'm going to use. 
so I think I'm gonna go like this more or less measure this and I'm just going to start tapping it with my fingers to create the shape that I need this has to come here let me show you this has to come all the way down here and around the neck so I'm just going to bring this down and keep pushing to the sides then I can cut it because this this um, this sugar paste is actually quite uh, elastic this the yellow usually is elastic and if you mix it with another color it gets quite elastic I didn't put any CMC so I can modeling it I can model in it or with it and uh, bringing this down a little bit more okay now I'm going to put some CMC here I'm going to bring this here and push it back wait a minute Maybe a little bit down okay so I have here I have here and now let me work on the back just pull and push until I get it where I want it to be all of this is going to be blended so don't worry about it perfect okay I like this so using a small scissor I'm just going to cut this part let me do it the other side just put it like this okay Oop, not blue in it please want any blue in it I'll clean this up and I'm taking this part off as well we don't need it Perfect. so we have his neck and again I'm gonna bring it down with a tool with my fingers keep bringing this down and I'm gonna let me just take this little bit of blue that got into here because of the scissors okay perfect and now I'm going to blend this as well so you don't see any seams here perfect oh this one is good to blend the blue wasn't that good okay now what I'm going to do is also give some texture to this because this is a rooster after all, right? Give me some texture. Can you see there very well? Good. And on the sides. I might do it upwards while I'm working the whole thing, but in the bottom, I like to do it down because it gives this uh, sort of feathery or hairy effect into it. If you go like this, you will pull this part of up so it won't look like a finished piece of feather or hair. So I like to pull it down. In other cases, oh, I'm sorry. In other cases, uh, depending on the, on the hair that I'm doing, I like to pull it up from the bottom, but in this case, I'm pulling it down because these feathers actually sit on top of the body, as you can see. Perfect. And I'm gonna keep working this to give it less, more texture. Just knock it. Here's the tail. And this will go down and down and down. Perfect. Excellent. I love modeling. Might not be perfect doing it, but I love to do it. Okay, so we have the neck of the rooster. Now, actually, I'm looking at the design that I have here, and I think it should be thinner. So I'm going to ruin what I just did. I'm gonna bring the neck up. 
but I will, I will give the effect again of the feathers. That's the thing about modeling. You start doing it one way and then you're like, no, nah, not that way. Okay, now I can go back and give it some. Perfect. This is what I wanted. This is way better. Okay, great. I don't want to pull it back too much because it's starting to look at the blue. Okay, I'm going to so do the ball. head for the head. And now I'm going to work on the beak. Not too much. I just want to know where is it going to be. It's going to be more or less here, right? Just a little bit of the... Okay, so now using some CMC, I'm going to glue it to the top. And I'm going to blend, blend it here on the neck. So it won't look like it's just sitting there. Okay. Don't worry if the size looks weird because it's going to have a whole red thing on top of it. So actually I don't know how you call that in the rooster. The crown? No. I don't know. I'll look for it. I need to know. Okay, so I have the beak here. And I'm going to let it set for a little bit because this is this is a little bit uh, soft and I'm gonna be working the head a lot. So I'm going to let it sit for a while and uh, then I'll come back and... Okay, finish. so I already uh, did one of the eye sockets here. I'm going to do the other one. He has huge eyes this would make you funny a funny character good and using this I'm just going to cut here the beak so we can model this better okay good I don't know if you can see that you can see good in there, well in there. Just move this here. Okay. For the beak, I'm going to bring this down. And I'm going to bring this side down here. This one is going to be more prominent than the other and it's gonna have two little holes in here perfect doesn't look like much no but it's gonna look really really cool okay so now i'm going to start i'm going to start with the eyes actually so i have some white here i'm going to make two big round balls of white and just glue them in there uh, too big i'm gonna make it smaller in a minute smaller good and I'm going to do the same in the other side Not too big smaller okay good now, using some purple, I'm going to do like a lower eyelid on both sides. Okay, let me just okay, change so you have angle. more room to see here. So I'm just going to make about a lower eye 
rounding it. Let me round this part a little bit more. And another one to this side. I'm going to do the the iris of the eye. Uh, now I'm just going to move to do the crest. I found out okay, that it's so the crest. for the crest, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do more just what I did here on the neck. I'm just putting up a little bit. Okay, is yes, I'm going to be shaping the piece of sugar paste more or less to what I need. So I'm gonna start by measuring here. So I need it wider because I want it to get to the eyes. So it has to be wide. But I'm not gonna push too much. I'm not gonna press too much here in the middle because I wanna pinch this to make the crest on the top. So just on the sides. I'm gonna be pinching on the sides to get it to where I want to. Perfect. Now on the back. See that I'm, I'm just pulling it like out but here in the middle still thick doesn't look like much now but it's gonna look good I promise okay so i'm gonna let me see okay so from here you can see that it covers here and all the way up here so i think this i can start working on the head so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna place it here on the mat and i'm gonna pinch the top part of it because later I'm gonna create the crease. And if I pinch this on top of the head, I'm gonna be pushing the head down. And I want that. So, I think I can work with this. I'm going to put some CMC here, or Tylos water. <sighs> and let's see how this works. I do this so free-handed sometimes that uh, sometimes I have to go back and do it again because it doesn't work but and this tonight is today is like okay I have some sugar paste let me do a tutorial for my friends that are staying creative at home you guys are being awesome all these days sometimes I feel like I'm talking to myself here but I know you're there I know you're there and I know you're listening and you've been so nice going along with all my craziness that I'll be always grateful for that and I have met so many amazing people through the net but still you guys are amazing see what I'm doing I'm just pushing and pulling and pushing and pulling to cover the rooster's head okay when I have enough and I think it's about now. I'm just gonna go and cut the back. Let me see how it's going here in the back. Yeah, it's enough. So I'm going to go again with my little scissor. I'm not going to cut it like totally. Uh, let me see, let me see the design. No, yeah, I'm gonna cut it here. Let me see if I can do it without putting my hand in front of the camera. Okay, now I'm gonna blend this here. Okay, good. And I'm going to take advantage of this part to pull it up and create the crest. Don't pull the back of the eye, please. I'm talking to myself here. Okay. Great, 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 great. Now, before anything, I'm going to make the two top eyelids with the red. Oops, up, up, up. I'll do it now. Half here. Some tiles water. 
on the top here and good there it is perfect and then on the other side and it looks like a roman now roman chicken yeah it's not gonna be a roman chicken it's gonna be hey hey It looks bad. No, I'm gonna bring this back up here. It does not look like that. I know what's happening. He's missing a piece here. Well, first I'm gonna cut here. This, like, I'm gonna put this back here. Gonna be cutting some of the Rest in here. And this is going down. You can just see here. I'm sorry. So this is going down here. Two. This here. Okay, now I'm gonna take these little pieces of red that I found here. I think this hey hey looks fat. Now that I'm looking at the design, I should have done the body smaller. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We're in the middle of a quarantine. He's fat. Not little one yet, right? Oh my god, I'm terrible. And whoops, too big. Let me make it smaller. Here a little bit. And of course he's missing the best part. His big bright eyes. Fat, hey, hey, he's done. <laughs> I think he's a bit fat. Should I make the body smaller? But I'm going to go like this, make it crazier. Just pull the neck a little bit up so it will look taller. And let me just give him some texture here again. going on this part here has to come down more otherwise he looks like he's mad
good. We have a hay. And oh, we sorry. have our hay hay done. Oh, it looks cute. He looks mad though, but he looks cute. Did you like it? I think it looks cute. Well, guys, I hope you like this, and I'll make I'll make another little video for everybody in a while. Okay. Let me see what else can I come up with. Hope you like this guy. Thank you.